president council. And that is Mr. Carter as president and Ms. Moore as the vice president. So you can have all the informal councils or groups or organizations that you would like to have. And you don't need anybody's permission for that. Any other questions? Okay. So right now, what's going on? So right now, um, we meet. So right now, what is the status so far? Getting names together. How many what's the status so far? So there is. So we should have had two resident councils. So I don't know how much you talked about, so I don't want to, if I repeat no, something, okay. please just say how we got that new line. Yeah. Um, I think we already have them. There are, um, don't we already have them? Be, not formally. No, no, not formally. No, no, not formally. They have to be voted in. We have to be voted in, but we can still act. Right now, as if we were that, yeah. until the voting comes up. I mean, why I got to wait to March? Why wait to March? Can I answer a question? Why wait to March? Because it's still going to be saving people, people here. It's going to okay. So the reason I mean, I'm that saying. you're waiting, or why are we maybe doing it this way? Is so, by rights, President Council has an election. We, as the Housing Commission, are responsible for making sure that election takes place, but we are not supposed to be involved in it. So what we'll do after the first of the year, we'll reach back out to legal women voters and ask them to be the one that facilitates the election for this year. So the terms of the current officers or the current resident council expire in April. So that's why we're saying so as you're getting ready to go into this next election cycle, if you will, um, it'll be, you'll be electing two resident councils. And that one resident council is going to be the residents of Denby, Lemoyne One, and Canterbury. The other resident council will be the, the residents of uh, Twin Towers, excuse me, Parkside, and Lemoyne Two. And those are the two, what well, will be two resident councils. Those two resident councils then get together and decide what is called the RAP Board or the Resident Advisory Board. The RAP Board has one function and one function only. They meet once a year to have the annual plan presented to them to talk about what changes, we're going to talk about the ACOP, the admissions, the continuing occupancy policy. That is really the RAP Board. It's presented to the RAP Board. They give their comments to it and then we move back to the board. I will say from my perspective, we will continue Continue to bring that down to each of the properties so that we can have those discussions because we have got to build our relationship so that you guys get to the point where you trust myself and the team and that we are giving you the information, we're giving you the information consistently and accurately regardless who you're talking to. Um, and that's just building that relationship so we will Albeit technically we regulatorily, we have to only present the RAP board, but we will continue to bring that to the properties so that we can continue to talk through things and build those relationships. Look, I was just got my contract and officially the executive director, so that happened November 1st. I'd like to be here for a while. Enjoy what I'm doing, so I want to continue to build those relationships. There are times where we're going to agree to disagree, and we're going to go our separate ways. But the majority of stuff we're going to agree on, and we're going to work together to get it done. So that's kind of why or how you end up with two councils, and why we're waiting. Um, the elected the term is up in April, and with everything else that we have that we're trying to do and get done and get taken care of. I'll be honest with you, it's just one of those things, it's not that far away from mm -hmm. so, so the way we're going. So, the third is the interest of the city. Anybody from the only time to have that in your No. 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 It's very good for the president of the Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. What will happen, I'll give you a question in half a minute. What will happen is 
There'll be nominations, so you'll be able to nominate who you want to be your officers. And again, remember that's officers that represent teams. In Towers, Parkside, Des Moines Kitty. So it is, you know, it's more than just who is here. But that being said, even with that, once you have eight resident council, that doesn't stop or prevent you from meeting like this to have informal discussions and conversations about what it is, what you want, what's going on, what you like, what you don't like. Because the more you get together collectively as a group, if one of you speak, I hear you. Forty of you speak, I hear you louder. Yes, sir. My name is Terrence Skin. I'm an engineer. I'm from here. I went to school in electrical and mechanical engineering. I've been on large scale projects, all that kind of stuff like that. And I'm from here. I run my own consulting firm and everything. And I've been observing what's been going on for like the last two months at a lot of different levels. Now, just briefly hearing what he said, and I, I think what I'm about to say right now is really what everybody really want to articulate, but really don't know how. Hey, I just heard the resident council, two resident councils. Uh, representatives for what is it, seven complexes, something like that, close to seven complexes? Okay, that's not a good voice. There are different people, different people think different ways and they need to communicate their way effectively through their leadership. Okay, when you look at the city of Eastern Heights laid out and organized, when you're talking about a resident council, you must be residents from people of different neighborhoods and their walks of life. Where it more so don't be a resident council, it's more so a city council. Because these are the community and these are the people who are being affected at the quality of life in the community. And two people can't speak for four or five, six, seven different aspects. Now, what the problem is with the people's voice is that organize and you must effectively communicate your ideas using Robert's rule of order to have actual meetings and elect actual people. And each one of these residents. You, the people, dictate how many residents council come. HUD does not dictate that. Understand that. And if Denby elect uh, someone, they, they have to actually have elections. The people have to come to Denby that live in Denby, voice their opinions, make a vote, and find the best leader that represents their feelings, their thoughts, to express their ideas. And if you don't have that, then that's when you get the pseudo aspect, we're just going to have resident council, we're going to need minimum requirements. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? Yes. But it takes the community to have its voice put together how it wants to and say if each one of these buildings, including this right, have its own representative and speak to the issues that the seniors have here. The seniors have different issues than Parkside. That's right. For sure. Okay, and the resident council can't speak to both of those issues. But a resident council from each one of those places can speak to someone about those issues, then it can go up a chain of command. Uh -huh. See, there's missing a chain of command, what I'm seeing. And you have to have structure. When you have structure, you have effective communication. When you have effective communication, you demand and you will get results. Okay? This is what you have to have. You don't sit back, it's not a trickle down thing. A pyramid is built from what supports it from up under. Okay, and if you don't hang up under the bottom, you're not going to ever make it to the top. So that's what the people's concern will be, what they're concerned about will never reach the top. Okay, so that means top never has nothing to do. Because top can always blame because there's chaos. Go ahead. Okay? Go ahead. And what I'm hearing is chaos confusion. Two people can't handle it. Not when you're talking about people and how they live it. Because you don't live the way I live, you don't live the way I live, and we don't live the way y'all live. No, it's got to be, this is how we live. We want to have pride in our community. And if we got some pride and we feel that we can help y'all, we want to share what we learned about what we had with your community. Right. right. This is what we need to have. This two ain't going to do it. I'm going to tell you that now. That's just setting up failure. Because people live a different type of way. And you don't want someone else's influence to influence on you when they don't know who you is. Exactly. Yeah. So it comes down to the people, you got to be serious enough to be serious. And be able to be effective about knowing the condition of your condition. Your condition is more important than somebody else's condition because your condition wants to be addressed. I don't want to go see no doctor who's a foot doctor telling me about diabetes if he don't know how the heart works and haven't communicated with everybody else. You may be just looking at my feet, they might just be dirty. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But everybody has to have a voice. And if they don't have a voice, that means voices get lost. 
and they don't get heard, and nothing gets done. And that's what you want. And the more people get involved who have a voice, and you're showing that you're organized by being able to submit minutes from meetings that you have had. That's recognized in the Robert Roots order. That shows effectiveness and it shows communication. That means my voice is being heard from over here. Because I don't want my voice to get translated and get lost in translation. I want to be heard because everybody's living in different types of situations. They're dealing with different problems and they're dealing with different situations. By the time they reach the top, by the time it's halfway at the top, top should already know something is going on. And top should be able to step in and stop before it reaches all the way to the top like a news or whoever, anything like that. Because when you embarrass one community, you embarrass the whole community. Let's be real about this situation. And there's plenty of money out there now. But the people who are organized get the money. Not the people who complain. When you complain, you are nothing but a consumer complaint. You are a customer. You want to be a consumer, not a customer. Okay? Because consumers, they keep records. And if you don't have a record of your struggle, you won't get no results. Because people look like it never happened. It never happened. And you must be result oriented. And that means documentation. Effective documentation that's serious about people being serious enough to be serious. All that whining and crying don't mean nothing if you ain't willing to put it down on paper and stand up and speak on it. Say that, bro. That means nothing if you whine and cry. That means nothing. If you don't get out of it, you don't get out of the fire, don't get into the water because there's no water. Huh? Huh? Exactly. So it's a situation where you're going to need more communication. And I'm telling you, I don't want to disagree, but I know organizational, you got to have more people on the ground. You got different, different environments. You got to effectively address each environment. Because if this spills over here, it'll spill over here. And the less people you got accountable for it, that means no one's going to take responsibility for it. But if you got, I can make a point, what's going over there at uh, Parkside? I can make one phone call. I don't want to have to call this person who's over here in Denby. But they don't know what's going on with Parkside and they ain't had time to get over there or they ain't got nobody here to communicate with. No, Parkside has submitted their documentation to you and this is our issues right here. And we've had one meeting, three meetings, four meetings about it, and here's our minutes from our meetings. You can't act like you don't see the minutes no more. You can't act like you don't know no more. It has nothing to do with what's going on at Denver. It has to do with what's going on right here. And that, that, that person who's responsible for that, they take surveys in their community. They know how many toilets broke. Understand, that's not hard to do. More people on the ground can cover more ground. Okay, then once you cover the ground, you bring it up to the top. And once you got it organized at that level, then it's easier for the officials to put in requisition, put in work orders, ask for more money because it's documented. But when it's just a bunch of people whining and crying, you don't get nothing happening. I'm telling you straight up, it don't happen like that. Documentation is effective and it brings money. Talk don't bring nothing. Just talk. It's just a, it's an idea. What is an idea without action? Right. Just an idea. So what? A dog had an idea. It took a piss. Right. You see what I'm saying? But is it documented? You must document with you. If you're serious enough being serious and you want to have control of your standard of life, your quality of life, you must organize and have someone to speak your voice. And don't take the norm. Organize. The people yeah. run the drug and everything. That's what it takes. But going to a meeting, uh, okay, so when y'all had a meeting about that on your block, let me see y'all minutes so I can make sure y'all serious because y'all sound like you're just complaining. Is this a customer complaint or a consumer complaint? You're never getting nowhere. And when it's documented, it's not going to go in file 13. With the complaint. When it's not documented, it's going in file 13. Oh. And that's what you have to do. Be ready to document. People want to talk, okay, well, did you have a meeting with your community about that? Who just said, have your elected officers? See, that's what we're talking about in each one of these, these dwellings or these DC, Lamont Ground over here. Le elect officers. Elect officers so you have official meetings. Get involved with the community. Then you have another situation, okay, hiring good people. I see too many young people running around here and ain't got no job, hands dragging, wish they had a skill. Know they need some money in their pocket. Living with their mama or their grandmama, and grandma ready to get out and go get a job. But they will do these jobs and some training is offered. And I know these uh, HUD and everybody else organized, they have training available, free training, and even if you have to pay for it, it's some training. But you got you, Dimity, too, that gives them training, too. 
Bro, you got to demand what you want, but it got to be done in writing. And it's got to be organized. It can't be just complaints. Because you can't act on complaints if it's not put together correctly. Because you put it here like this, by the time you get here, by the time he get, then he's going to organize it. And then when he submit it, it's going to look more than you can say, well, I need more money. You see, the people not playing. They're serious about their condition, and they need more resources. And they need quality resources. And I needed some more resources to get this job done for them. But when you ain't got all that going on, it gets shrinked down and they're going to work with a skeleton crew. And that sounds like a skeleton, a skeleton crew. Two people can't represent seven, seven areas. I ain't never seen it happen. It ain't going to happen. Go ahead. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Don't believe nothing I'm saying. I could be lying. No, you ain't lying. <laughs> I want to say something real. I'm not going to go. Go ahead. We love you, man. We appreciate what you're trying to do for us. We support the team efforts. Some of us understand you, and a lot of us don't. As long as you don't understand where we come from. Mm -hmm. We've been busting our ass off here, right? Exactly. Here, all of us. Trying to get the whole family together. <laughs> we did the best we can with what we had. Right. A little bit of something is better than nothing at all. Right. Amen. We had an open house and I wish you could have been a fly on the wall and looked in. We gave everybody in the Twin Tower a choice. Mm -hmm. We asked the question. So we want to get our council together where we can be recognized. Let's do it right. Let's do what they asked us to do. We brought the whole company mm -hmm. in. What do you want to do? What you got to offer? What you want to be? Mm -hmm. You think you quite a fact the leaders to be out in front of them? Come on, let that, that board. Mm -hmm. Put your name up there. This is what we did. This is where we started. That's right. All of a sudden, everybody wanna have a collection. I said, what the hell are you having a collection for? And we ain't got no officers. You got position. Who you gonna run against and what you running for? You understand what I'm yes. saying? You got eight to ten people that's doing the work. They just took a tile to put on them and said, okay, this is what we're going to do. All of the degree. The other 100%. Hands off. Now they have something. Well, when you going to vote? When we going to vote? What the hell are we voting for? You want what you want to be. You want me to vote for you? What will I vote for you for? Mm -hmm. Until we get there. So we got to start. Somewhere. We just started. When we get to, we got 20, how many have we got there on Yeah, we have 23 names and six people, six people, uh, 31 names and six people that were tentatively outranking in office. They wanted to commit themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Throwing bricks, pointing fingers, right. and whooping we'll down. Well, not being a big shot, I'm going to tell you an example. Yesterday was election day. My home is Birmingham, Alabama. I'll be 80 on the 17th of this month. You know what I went through to vote. Mm -hmm. You can imagine. Mm -hmm. Dogs bit me, mm -hmm. busted in the head, kicked in the ass, put in jail, and everything. I was so surprised, so beautiful. Yesterday, looking at the young people oh, yeah. coming in our house to vote. I took a chair to sit right there all day yesterday. Mm -hmm. I said, thank you. We love you for coming out to vote. We suffer for you to vote. The hand put of us in here, Mr. Powell, we done kissed the ass. We done begged them. We done pleaded to them. Come on, let's sit down. Let's help do some work. You, every time this man come, the whole damn meeting is about some bed bugs. Or some roaches. <laughs> Not organization. I said, no. Nothing else for them. I said, wait a minute. I'm no. talking. I said, let's resolve that problem ourselves. We are family. If you itch it, I don't want to itch. And I don't want you to itch. I love you. Let's mm help -hmm. him. This is what the family do. If we can't get it together in the house, how in the hell is we going to get it together outside the house? I can deal with you. That's, huh? that's be saying the same thing. If you know an epidemic in here, you went back all the way down the park south. Huh? 
You say, hell no, they bring the wood to the flea. Right? Right. So I try to explain to them. That's our president. Why pat the president? Everybody in here respect that man. Mm -hmm. They respect him. She didn't jump up and say, I'm the president. You won't be the president. I don't want to do the work. Oh, no, no. She said, give me the give me the straw and I'll cut some heads off. Come on, man. Come on, baby. I said, Lad, what you gonna help do? You gonna get on the team, fight you a warrior? Put your big girl drawers on, let's go to work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Constantly, every day. So now you stand up. I'm ready. Come on. I'm ready. Come on. I'm ready. Come on. I'm ready. Come on. Ninety percent of the ones that are here that would do something. I ain't talking y'all because I ain't talking that you made. So men, 20% women, 2% men. You follow me? Mm -hmm. That's what we did. You didn't tell me how to get a committee. You said get a committee. Don't be surprised when the committee comes. It be 30 women and 8 men. <laughs> Usually it is. Mm -hmm. Hey. You feel me? That's why I respect this man. I speak truth. Since he's been there helping us, we have got more done. We have accomplished more. This is the God of heaven, old truth. I'm not going to talk about him behind his back. I stand on truth and speak truth. Since she's been there helping us, we're coming on in. It's coming together, believe me. Because they like him, they trust him. Oh, yeah. So we coming together. Appreciate what you say, but I want you to know what we're up against. Oh, yeah. And what we're working with. At one time, we were strong with you. Each member in here was paying $5 a month for residential and emergency fund, $65 a year. If death was in your family, come get it. Transmission went out in your car, come get it. Your grandbaby was in Florida graduating, come get it. You can't get two pennies out of that bill. Hmm. But a handful. You understand what I'm saying? But hmm? well, we get there. We coming together. The war